As a young girl, Ava always heard people say that the eyes are the windows to the soul. She never quite understood the meaning behind it until the day she met Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis was an elderly man who lived alone in a small house at the end of Ava's street. She would see him sitting outside on his porch every day, reading a book or simply watching the world go by. Ava was always intrigued by him, but she was too shy to approach him. One day, as Ava was passing by Mr. Davis's house, she noticed that he looked sad. She could see it in his eyes. They were deep and blue, and seemed to hold a sadness that Ava had never seen before. Without thinking, Ava walked up to Mr. Davis and asked if he was okay. He looked up at her and for a moment, Ava thought she saw a flicker of something in his eyes. A spark of gratitude, perhaps? They started talking, and Ava learned that Mr. Davis had lost his wife a few years ago. He had been feeling lonely and lost ever since. Ava listened intently as he spoke, and she could see the pain in his eyes. But as they continued to talk, Ava noticed a change. Mr. Davis's eyes seemed to light up, and a smile appeared on his face. It was then that Ava realized the power of the eyes. They truly were the windows to the soul. She saw the sadness and pain in Mr. Davis's eyes, but she also saw the hope and joy that came from connecting with another human being. From that day on, Ava made it a point to visit Mr. Davis every day. They would sit on his porch and talk about everything and anything. Ava learned so much from him, and she could see that he was no longer lonely or lost. His eyes sparkled with happiness and gratitude. Years later, when Ava was an old woman herself, she thought back to that day when she first met Mr. Davis. She realized that it was one of the most important moments of her life. It taught her that the eyes truly were the windows to the soul, and that sometimes, all it takes is a kind word or a listening ear to let the light back in.